I'm Monty McKinnon. Thanks for joining me today. What we're going to do today is cut the taper on the fingerboard, plus a few other things, but we're going to do that right now. And I'm going to show you how this jig works in order to do that. But first, we need to run that intro. So what do you say we spin that and I'll be right back. So this is our board that we made the other day and we're all ready to go. So what you do is you put it in here. I'll put it in number one first. And I put these clamps down and now all I'm going to do is take this and run this straight through the saw and it's on an angle and you can probably see that angle from here to here. Once we've done that, we're then going to turn it over and put it into slot number two and then I'll have it the width that I want it and it will be a perfect straight taper all the way down. So what do you say we get started? It's going to get a little noisy. see how that's tapered. There's our fingerboard with the taper. What I have to do now is I'm going to put a piece of purfling around the edge of that because I want a little line and then I'm going to be putting this on there and that's what it's going to look like. And that's how we're coming up to one and three quarters, actually about 1.8 as opposed to 1.75, but we're pretty darn close. So I'm pretty happy with that. That looks like it's going to be pretty close to being bang on. What do you say we check it? Get the calipers out. Set them to zero. One point seven one. And with ten thousandths of an inch and another ten, I'm coming up to uh, to the eight mark. It's going to be just fine with the uh, the purfling that we're going to add in there. What I need to do is do one more. So I've got the vacuum on and I've got the table saw set up. I've put the other fingerboard in here and we're ready to go and cut the next slot. So let's get that done.
There we have it. That's our next fingerboard. I'm happy with that. All right. We'll get on to the rest of that a little later. Right now, I think I would like to um, clean up. So why don't I do that? And I'll be right back. So we are done with the fingerboards for today. We will put some uh, purfling along here. We'll put the binding on the side. We'll put it on here. We're gonna have to cut it. This is the 20th fret. I wanna wait because I'm not sure where this is gonna fit when it goes on the guitar. And that depends on the position up here of the nut on the particular neck that we're doing. So if it's a little further up, there's my 14th fret right there where I want it. But I may end up adjusting this just a tad. And if I do, I wanna be able to take that into account. So what I have to do now is put the other pieces on here and then we're gonna cut this stock all the way back. So that's the way it looks right now. So once that is done, then I need to make this to fit the guitar, put the inserts in, and then figure out where this comes in relative to the sound hole, because it's not gonna cover the sound hole and I don't wanna cut it too short of the sound hole. I actually like the idea of maybe doing a little curve around here. Uh, just to match the sound hole. I'm thinking of that, so that's probably what we're gonna do. But I wanted to show you the jig because I think it's important. You can see with this here, at least I hope you can, that this, is, this board here is on a taper. And at the end, I have some slotted boards which move back and forth in order to put this thing in its position to be cut. So there it is there. So when the saw is cut, it's cutting this piece on an angle because it's, it's keyed in here at the 14th fret, right down to the nut. And so I get a nice smooth straight cut and that's really important. Now the other thing is I, I do it up here, but as you can see, that's the reverse. So if this was our new stock that would go in there like that and then we would cut along here and that's what gives us the one side of our taper now these two slotted pieces here uh, with the screws can be adjusted to go in and out depending on where you want the width of your fingerboard at the nut some people want it one and seven eighths inches others want it one and three quarters so depending on what it's going to be, it will end up being adjusted.